This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, welcome to another Rob Ranks. Well today, 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 today is probably one of the most difficult ones that I actually had to sit with for a few days. Um, I discovered recently, um, well not recently, within the last year or two, I, I never, you know, when I go after a game, I never pay attention who makes it. And that's because I think I'm more of a, just put the game in front of me, let me experience the game. I don't worry about designers and things like that. And I should. You know, especially in this business where where I'm, I'm actually reviewing and taking a look at games. I had the pleasure of, of, of really discovering a certain amount of games from Victory Point Games. And I have to tell you, after the over the last year and a half, really just going through and... And discovering all their different types of games I am convinced that this is one of the best companies out there and I decided to make a list now I made it hard on myself I could have easily gone top 10 here but I went top six games because I wanted to leave some games out and I wanted to make this really tough I wanted this list to have meat in my mind I wanted there to be some wow you left that off that's a great game yeah it is and just to kind of show you they make a lot of great games and this is a fantastic company alan you're killing it uh, you've become a superhero to me uh so without further ado let's head right into it let's start talking about some of these games at number six is a game that came out about two years ago and i did it live and i was blown away about it, it it's a smaller box game but it packs a lot of game and that is Zulu on the Ramparts. It is such a fantastic experience how everything just kind of closes in on you and you get that feel. And we're going to talk about another game that does that same kind of thing. But you have that feel of being overwhelmed, overwhelmed uh, the certain points that you have to defend. There's different things that, that were going to happen. Uh, it reminds me a lot of uh, the Alamo Remembered, which is a great game that just didn't make it on this list. I had to pick one, and I really had such a hard time because basically in the rules, especially for the Alamo, I love how it just says, you're not going to win this. <laughs> you're not going to win. It's, it's, it's a matter of how much pride you have and how hard you can push them to destroy you. Right there and then I was I'm in but I had to pick between the two of these and it was hard but I went with Zulu on the ramparts another fantastic experience is ancient battles deluxe oh oh my oh my oh my I mean just a, a, a wonderful fantastic experience a game that I really enjoyed it forced me to push something off the list that I didn't expect to push off the list but this is a game that's very deep it has it's very deep it's very it's very well put together and i really enjoy the experience check it out ancient battle deluxe at number four caesar xl i mean what more can you say what more can you say than that it is xl to the xl and just you know the one thing I really enjoy about Victory Point games is how well they flow. How well they flow. Once you once you get it, you are locked in and you are dialed in. And and they make it so you just you're 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 immersed in. This is one of those games. Which leads us to number three. Number three is is, is the start of something that I just think is fantastic. Uh, they said they were going to build this giant uh, theater out of it, and I'm just looking forward to it. And if anybody can do it, it's Alan and the boys, and I'm telling you right now, Thunder in the East 
is a masterpiece is a masterpiece and needs to get higher recognition in the wargaming community i think this is just a very well done very solid you can bring anybody in on this and get them in on this it has depth it has it, it, it just has beauty it has it's complicated at, at times but also easy at times and it has such a beautiful balance that it challenge anybody anybody that that is into wargaming and i think this is just something with the beautiful maps and 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 the beautiful counters and everything that they did that just is a fantastic experience at number two is a home run in my book and i consider this the best zombie game i have ever played and that is dawn of the zed this game is is impossible to win at times okay even on the easy side it, it, it really pushes you you make a mistake you're going to pay dearly for it um it it has to feel when you are playing it you feel it you are immersed you are sucked in and you feel you are just in this situation you are living this situation out and for me you know i, I loved watching the old uh, dawn of the deads and stuff like that or the, you know the one where they were in the mall because i always put myself in that position oh man what would i do if i was in the mall it'd be kind of cool being locked in the mall with all the stuff that you could just you know rummage through but then again you know always worrying about perimeters and things and stuff and things closing in on you and 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 it's just a no-win situation and then when you are finally battling it out how do you survive it just an awesome experience <sighs> dawn of the dead number two without a doubt number one this was probably the best video I did, and I did it on my way just about to the airport of Gen Con. So I was there for four days. The rest of my videos just basically stunk in my mind compared to this one video when I sat down with Alan Emmerich just on a whim, and I asked him, I go, would you mind if we tape this? And I just said, uh, you know, we'll just get it as one more thing. And I saw Nemo's War for the very first time at last gen con and i will tell you i obsessed until i got that game tina obsessed until she got the game we painted the figures we did everything together we were so captivated by the way this was explained to us and how you play if you get a chance check out that video it's one of my favorite videos i've ever done because it was just such an enjoyable experience hearing from the master himself and this game that's just right in front of you and just immerses you and you're making certain decisions trying to do certain things trying to do and it's all just right in front of you and you just get sucked in that's the thing that i find with victory point games they bring me they immerse me they they hit a certain point that i just cannot help but feel i'm part of the game and that is how you make games okay theme thematic you know beautiful components well done beautiful story so many things that just go into it and just make a fantastic experience and when you're done you think about that experience for days to come and that shows you how great this company is and uh nemo's war at number one now what did i leave off holy cow darkest night which is another great game my only problem is it can get a little, just a, a tad bit clunky. I left it off because there were just so many things that I liked better. And, and I love that game, plain and simple. I love that game, but this list, there were just more things I, la I, I loved better. I loved uh, the Alamo, Napoleon 20, uh, the Bulge 20. I mean, I can go on and on and on with the amount of games. But I felt that if I kept myself to six, I, 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 do, I would make it a hard six. A hard six to, to come up with. And uh, you could look at the 33 here. It's a hard six for sure. And um, these are just fantastic 
experiences and I think this is something that you need to check out or you should try to get your hands on and definitely check out these games there are plenty they have a wonderful catalog go to their website you will enjoy it without a doubt well there you have it another Rob ranks and until next time it's your old pal Rob and we will see you soon